Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have the high grade RX-79 ground type Gundam. Um, so before I actually get into the review, I just want to go ahead and ask y'all about a couple of things. Uh, one, I want to know your opinion on the audio quality. Uh, I've been trying to do a lot of stuff in my room as far as like uh, trying to drown out the sound. Uh, now until I get everything filled in the room as far as like my cabinets and Gundams and everything, um, it's still probably going to be a little bit echoey, but I'm, I'm, I'm putting a lot of foam into the room uh, to try and drown out as much of the sound as possible. Secondly, uh, I want I want y'all opinion on the lighting. I try to do some nice things with the lights. Uh, I got two lamps going on. Uh, one's kind of like a, an overhead lamp. The other one is a lamp that's on uh, the right side of me. Uh, now I will be getting my other lamps in the mail next week, uh, so I'll probably have a third one on the left side to kind of like I'm, there's a little bit of a shadow on the left side right here. Um, so as soon as I get a lamp, I can go ahead and drown out that side. But just let me know in the comments below. Um, um, exactly what y'all think of, of the lighting overall. Uh, I try to go ahead and you know make the mobile suit as uh, visible as possible. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the review. So the first thing I want to talk about is the build. Um, the build itself was actually really fun. It was really engaging. It was it, it was very similar to the Blue Destiny suits. Um, and I'll show comparisons uh, later in the video. Uh, but the build was very, very similar to the, the ground types, I mean, to the uh, Blue Destiny units. Um, just because it had kind of like the same type of frame, the same, like, similar style of armor. Um, but it didn't use any of the same, like, actual pieces. Some of the pieces are, are, are fairly similar, especially like on the side of the legs, like this part right here. Um, that's actually fairly similar to some of the Blue Destiny um, suits because they have uh, the beam sabers that are actually inside there. And I know the Blue Destiny units, I believe, are actually developed from the uh, ground type mobile suits. Uh, but overall, like, I, the, the build was amazing. Um, I really, really loved it. I love putting all the paint details in it because there's some paint ap uh, applications which I'll mention while going through each segment of the, uh, the high grade. There's a lot of different paints that you're gonna have to paint on this guy. Um, obviously there's some stickers that are included with this, but um, I actually prefer to go ahead and paint uh, a lot of those extra details instead of leaving them blank. Um, I just kind of use, you know, some online images as well as the instruction manual as uh, guided references to let me know, hey, you need to paint this this way or paint this that way. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of each uh, ligament on the actual mobile suit. Okay, so taking a look at the head first. Uh, the head was a real, to me, this is a great mold for a head. Um, there's a lot of details as far as like inside the vents right there. Uh, you have a lot of, uh, let me get a beam saver so I, I can accurately point. Um, a lot of details right here inside there. Um, now as far as stickers, you are supposed to uh, put a sticker right here on the, uh, the eyes and the top of the, um, the little camera right there. And then the back of the camera right here but um looking at these stickers i was just really not impressed uh you got the eye stickers right there and you got the two stickers right here uh they're pretty average to be honest but overall i did not want to use those i went ahead and just painted those myself but there's a lot of places for panel lining which it, it, that always gets me excited if i could panel line um usually not like like over the top but if i can panel line a pretty decent amount that gets me pretty excited uh, but overall there's a lot of locations for that um now as far as articulation you're really not going to get much um you pretty much get it up and down like that and it, it it really it can rotate like 360 but it's pretty difficult uh to say the least uh but overall it looks really good Okay, let's take a look at the body. Uh, now there is gonna be one sticker on the body and that's gonna be this white part, um, which will be this sticker right here. Uh, but I decided to uh, not use that, just went ahead and painted that white. Now this part right here is actually all blue, but I went ahead and painted that white because that's what the instruction manual kind of said to do. Um, now this part right here, this little white piece, this comes off fairly easy. Um, so I would recommend go ahead and gluing that to the body itself. Um, I'm gonna do that probably just later because I just wanted to demonstrate that this is a fairly loose part. Um, but the body itself is pretty pretty good. Um, one piece that I really do hate is gonna be this little waist piece right here. This is just very, very loose. Uh, and the connection point that is with this uh, waist, I really don't wanna disassemble it because it's such a pain to actually uh, reassemble. But there's like, it's a, it's a ball joint inside here 
that connects to a piece that connects to a peg on the inside. Uh, and that's like kind of how you get this like nice little bend right there, which is great. Don't get me wrong, um, but I don't. It just it, it always pops out so so easily. So there's there's definitely ways to fix it. Um, but I think just from a, a person that is just building it, just to build it, uh, you know, his standpoint, I don't think that person is really going to enjoy um, that kind of mechanism that is going to allow for this bend. There's been other uh, applications uh, that made mobile suits kind of bend a little bit better uh, from older high grades. Um, so this isn't like a deal breaker. It, it does look good, but I wish this middle piece right here wasn't just a loose piece. I wish it kind of like was a little more solidified. Uh, so it's actually, look, this, it kind of easily comes out. So, but don't take my experience as like concrete evidence. This is just for like the, the uh, Blue Destiny units were exactly the same way. Um, so it's, it's just a little bit pain because this piece is gonna push back. So I gotta take that piece out and then reconnect it to here, uh, which is just a hassle. Okay, so looking at the waist, um, obviously these two parts right here, the, uh, the front skirts are individual, uh, individually posable if you go ahead and cut inside the middle, uh, which I pretty much do for all my high grades. Um, they're pretty blank canvases. Uh, if you want to go ahead and add some like panel lines, I'm trying to get this one up. Um, if you want to go ahead and add some panel lines onto the front right there, I mean, you got plenty of locations to go ahead and do so, um, which is something I'm going to be practicing very soon is uh, chiseling um, panel lines. So hopefully in the future reviews, I'll have some high grades that have some customized um, panel lines in there. Now this part right here is supposed to be a sticker, but I just went ahead and painted mine uh, yellow because I just, like I said, I like to go ahead and paint instead of using these stickers. But here's the sticker if you want to go ahead and check it out. Probably not a bad sticker, but overall I'd rather just go ahead and paint mine and I just went ahead and panel lined around it. Uh, now the side skirts, you do get these little extra ammo, uh, uh, ammo packs uh, or magazine packs. So these can go up you know, and rotate because there are going to be on a poly cap uh, joint inside there. And then looking on the back, uh, the back skirt pretty much does not come up. Most high grades, uh, the back skirts don't come up. Uh, but this one does not. But it has some little locations for uh, some detail. But once again, this is a fairly blank canvas. So you can go ahead and do some panel lines and everything else in there. All right, and moving on to the arms. Um, they're just going to the articulation first. There is a poly cap joint inside here. So you're going to get a forward bend like so, which I really do like. Uh, and then obviously there's going to be a rotation right here above the bicep. The arm can go up that much and can bend this much. I know there's like a, there's a second little bend right there. There we go. So it can bend that much, which is really great. And then this is going to be on a little uh, ball joint like that. So nothing really too crazy. Um, now I do love these arms because it does have like my favorite kind of feature on a high grade is going to be this kind of like H uh, joint right here. Um, so it's basically like a joint right here, joint right here, and then these two parts connect. Um, so I like to go ahead and paint those. Now I actually got some uh, some uh, copper this time. So I actually have my copper paint, which I never had before. Oh, I kept using gold, uh, but I do have copper and I think this looks way better with that copper look like so. Uh, but overall, I think these are uh, really great uh, arms. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing crazy about them. Uh, once again, these shoulders aren't gonna have much detail. Uh, so if you wanna go ahead and add some stuff on there, you're more than welcome to. And then you are gonna get some stickers I'll show y'all right here. You do get these number stickers, so if you wanna go ahead and add some numbers, you're more than welcome to. I just went ahead and put that because uh, I'm pretty sure this is canon to the uh, the ground type, and I went ahead and put some on the shield. Uh, but overall, these are really, really nice arms, and it is gonna come with multiple hands. Uh, so I'll show you this hand, which is gonna be the open hand right here. And you're also gonna get the uh, trigger hand, which is gonna be for this weapon, which we're gonna talk about a little bit later. But let's go ahead and move on to the legs. So for the legs, um, legs are pretty good. We're gonna, let's look at the articulation first. Um, they're pretty much gonna be able to do the splits. Um, you just gotta move these you know, skirts out the way as much as you can. And then they can go ahead and do a uh, forward bend like so. And then for the back bend, uh, obviously these skirts are not gonna be able to move, so you're not gonna get much in the way of uh, movement. Then for the knee joint, uh, you have two points of articulation, one point right here, one point right here. Uh, so you are gonna get a nice little bend. And then for the ankle, uh, there's gonna be multiple points. So you have this, uh, which is gonna be connected on the inside uh, through a poly cap. It, cannot, it can't really move back and forth, uh, but it can, well, they can move back and forth this way, but not like uh, horizontal. So just this way, uh, which is really, really good. And then the um, 
ankle armor can go ahead and move up and down and then the individual foot can move like so. So the legs are gonna have some stickers. It's gonna be these little yellow parts right here, uh, wherever I put my little sticker sheet. Uh, so as you can see, it's gonna be these little two uh, yellow stickers that are gonna go right here and on the opposite side. Uh, but overall, it does look pretty cool. I, I mean, I think it looks pretty dope uh, as long as you paint it. Uh, but uh, any kind of like off colors like this yellow, uh, I think looks good. Now inside here, this is just gonna be blank white, but uh, I went ahead and painted mine uh, yellow and black on the inside. These are kind of like vents. Um, but on the actual manual, it shows to paint, paint it like that. So uh, I went ahead and did that to mine, which I think looks pretty good. And then there's little um, hydraulics like piping down here. So I, I went ahead and did a, um, it's really hard to see because I have like all this shadow, but I did a silver and a copper right inside there, which um, there you go, kind of look a little better. But um, I think it just brings out the high grade a little bit more. And also looking on the back, uh, I went ahead and painted these uh, parts copper. Because uh, I remember some of the real grades, um, like I think the RX-78, uh, for the back of the legs, they also uh, put the copper stickers on there. So I just went ahead and painted mine copper because I think it looked a little good. Um, and then there's little parts right here um, that are like little kind of like indentions, like little dots. Uh, so I just went ahead and put some copper right there and uh, some parts on the ankle right here. Okay, so looking at the backpack, um, I went ahead and just painted the thrusters copper, and then the inside, a kind of metallic uh, blue. A little bit difficult to see just because of the uh, the lighting I have right now. Uh, but the, the backpack itself is gonna be a carrier for the, um, the pretty much the ammo case, or I guess the uh, the weapons case. Uh, so this, whoops, it's gonna have a little bit of articulation. Uh, just gotta bring this down. So you bring this little part down, these two parts can come up, and then you can go ahead and take uh, the backpack and then slide it right in there, and it's gonna plug in to the backpack. It's not as difficult as I'm making it uh, seem to be, but um, you can go ahead and plug it in like that. Now, it's gonna have its own little articulation by lifting these two parts uh, up and down, and you're gonna have the little storage case for the rifle, which we'll do uh, at the end of the video. All right, so the first accessory I'm gonna go ahead and look at is gonna be the shield. Uh, I went ahead and just put the zero A decal right there. Now this gray right here is all actually uh, white, uh, but I mean, the, the manual said to go ahead and paint it gray, so I went ahead and painted it uh, mine gray. Now it's gonna have a little bit of articulation right up in here, um, so it's gonna have some parts that come out like so, uh, which is really good. I mean, this part is, is pretty dope uh, whenever you actually connect it to the arm, uh, but this part is, is essentially a stand. So if you wanna go ahead and have it stand next to uh, the mobile suit whenever he's, um, you know, pretty much laying fire with the uh, the giant uh, rifle. Uh, this can act as pretty much like a stabilizer for the rifle, which is pretty cool. Now I'll go ahead and I'll put that in the pose at the end of the video. Uh, but this is gonna have a connection point right here, which connects right into either side of the arm. So you can go ahead and plug that in, and then this part can actually uh, rotate outward. So if you wanna go ahead and move it any way how you want, you can go ahead and do so like that. Okay, so the first weapon that we're actually going to look at is going to be the machine gun. Uh, machine gun's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's, not, it's, it's the same machine gun that you get with the, uh, the Blue Destiny units. So you're going to have this little buttstock right here, and you're also going to have this little handle, uh, so that way he can grip with the opposite hand. Uh, and then you're going to be able to interchange these little um, magazine packs. So if you want to go ahead and do something like that, you are more than welcome to. And I think there's a whole bunch of great poses that you can go ahead and pull off with this. Uh, overall though, I think it's a really nice weapon for this mobile suit. All right, so the next weapon we're gonna look at is gonna be the beam rifle. Uh, now this is pretty much another standard weapon for uh, most kind of mobile suits. Uh, this weapon does come with uh, multi you know, pretty much all the Blue Destiny suits. Um, I, I like it, I think it looks really, really good. Uh, looks like it's the same exact molding uh, as the Unit 3's um, beam, you know, beam uh, rifle. Uh, but there is gonna be a sticker that is gonna be required for the uh, the front camera. Uh, if I can go ahead and focus. So there's gonna be a, a sticker that goes right there, but uh, just using some um, you know bright green paint is gonna go ahead and work uh, as well. Where's my little sticker sheet? There we go. So uh, it's gonna be this little metallic, um, green right there uh, but you know overall it looks really good uh, I kind of wanted to do some painting on here uh, especially like some uh, some copper uh, pretty much right here on the um, right next to the muzzle 
but I decided against it because I was like, you know what, I'd rather just go ahead and keep it uh, fairly normal. Now, it obviously is going to be able to plug into the hand very sim uh, simply, and then the handle right here has its own articulation, so if he wants to hold it, uh, he can definitely do so. And I must say, you know, him having the beam rifle looks pretty cool, uh, but I really do prefer the machine gun over everything, uh, but the cannon is up next. Okay, and here is the cannon. Uh, looks really good. Um, overall, I'm really impressed. It, it it doesn't feel cheap. It actually feels like pretty legit. Uh, there's gonna be multiple different connection points, uh, so obviously it can break down um, and then be stored in the uh, the backpack. But first, um, the only thing I want to show you is that like obviously there's articulation with the handle right here, and it's gonna have its own little hand that's gonna be required uh, to use it. So uh, all you're gonna do is obviously take off that arm or well, that hand, and then you're gonna plug in this hand, and like so, you're gonna have the cannon equipped and here he is all nicely posed uh, with the beam rifle um, it's a little bit it's a little bit troublesome to kind of get it in a appropriate pose uh, obviously one hand would be a problem but this this mobile suit is not going to be able to carry that entire uh, cannon with just one arm uh, it's really gonna need that support for the other hand obviously the high grade ain't gonna have an issue but um, I, I would just recommend try to do your best when uh, trying to you know pose this um, don't be doing like some you know gunslinging stuff with just one hand because that just looks kind of weird uh, but him having both hands and then even kneeling like so I think it looks pretty appropriate Okay, next I wanna go ahead and show you the beam sabers. So they are gonna be stored right here on the side of the leg, uh, pretty much just like the Blue Destiny unit. So you have two beam sabers on uh, each side, and then this mobile suit is gonna come with two beam saber effect parts. Okay, and uh, pretty much it's gonna be the same beam saber that you get for every other UC and maybe even a lot of other uh, mobile suits from different eras, uh, but it's very, very generic, so nothing really too exciting here. Okay, and I have the uh, rifle already broken down into many parts, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate exactly how this all goes. Uh, so you're going to put this, pretty much um, the barrel right here, and then this part of the barrel is going to go into uh, this slot. Just There we go. So just like so. And then this part is going to go in like this. If I can get it appropriate. There we go. And then this last part is going to go like this actually hold on i gotta make sure to bring uh that handle down and then you can go ahead and put this right here so it's all pretty much uh disassembled and it's gonna go right into uh the backpack like so and then you should be able to oh actually my fault uh you have to take this out and then you close this part and then you're gonna close this part and should be tight Okay, and I failed to mention that uh, the magazine is actually going to be able to uh, be located right here, and bam, now you're going to be able to close it up with everything inside here. And for comparisons, here he is next to the Blue Destiny uh, Unit 3. So like I said, there's a lot of similarities, even though they don't share any of the same parts. Um, you know, this is going to be sharing uh, more parts with uh, the GM ground type instead of uh, the Blue Destiny. Uh, but just there's similarities in the overall theme of these two suits, um, which I really, really love uh, aesthetically. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on this kit? Uh, overall, I think it is an amazing, amazing high grade. Um, I really, really love the ground type. Uh, I love the 8th MS team as an anime. Uh, so this mobile suit just really just hits it home for me. Um, everything about it, the aesthetics, uh, the overall posability. Um, like the only, the only downfalls I, I've seen on this is going to be that white piece on the chest as well as the waist uh, connection poly cap piece. Um, I think those two are the weakest points of this, but um, overall it's a great mobile suit. Maybe the ankles could have had a little bit more of a uh, pivot, uh, so that way it could do wider kind of poses. Um, but you know what? I even with all that, um, I still think this is an amazing looking mobile suit. Um, so would I recommend it as far as a purchase? Absolutely. Um, I definitely recommend anyone who loves the HMS team or who loves uh, just more of that whole like kind of original style of the Gundam uh, aesthetic uh, to go pick this up. Uh, very few stickers that comes with it and then the stickers that does come with it uh, very easy to go ahead and paint instead of go ahead and uh, use them um, but overall hey 
I love this uh, mobile suit. This is a very great addition to my overall collection. And I do hope that some of y'all go ahead and uh, purchase uh, this mobile suit as well. So that way, maybe in the future, um, if they see like, hey, this you know high grade got a lot of uh, sales, um, maybe in the future we can get some more uh, 8MS team mobile suits. Maybe even a, I, if we can get a goof custom uh, like high grade revive. I actually would, wouldn't mind that because uh, I've kind of been hesitant on getting a, a Goof uh, custom because yeah, it, it, technically it is my favorite uh, version of the Goof, but the Master Grade didn't really, uh, I didn't like the way it looked and the High Grade I'm not even going to touch. Uh, but maybe in the future I'll go ahead and um, and pick it up if there's just no um, kind of like no future for a, uh, a revived version of that High Grade. Um, but overall guys, hey, uh, thanks for watching this review all the way to the end. Uh, definitely stay tuned for the next review. Uh, uh, more likely it's going to be either uh, Thursday night or it's going to be Friday. Uh, but hey, thanks for watching guys. Definitely rate, comment, subscribe, ring that bell for future notifications. And I'll see you in the next review. Bye-bye.